Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I'm back with my compass again here that I got. This is a, um, uh, oh, what was the brand thing? Denison, sorry, Denison Mark VI. A World War I 1917 vintage, vintage compass. As you can see, I've been testing it here on my uh, Geiger Graph software. Well, it's not mine, it's actually, um, you can buy it at geigercounters.com uh, or minerallab.com. Um, it's connected with a cable to my Geiger counter. It works on most Geiger counters. I love it because it lets me um, chart out all the stuff here. And there's plenty of software packages on the internet that do this. This one, I think, just does a pretty good job. See, it's counting away. It has graphing features and all kinds of neat stuff. But anyhow, as you can see, we're getting a nice, uh, nice bar here of the amount of radiation that this compass is putting off. I wanted to test a little bit the good old Brumster lung effect. A little closer. There we go. Now, I want to see what we can block with paper and so on. Let's give this thing a moment to level off. I was getting up to uh, 1200 counts a minute off of this thing a little while ago. You have to be right on top of the dial to do it though. Remember the distance inverse square rule. This is a piece of cardboard. Let's see if it does anything. All right. So in 15 seconds we will be stabilized again, and we'll see what we do. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stable. Eh, not really, but anyhow. So we're looking at about 600 and, uh, 750, give or take counts per minute normally here, 800. It varies all over the place. Everything goes up and down and up and down and up and down. Now let's see what happens if I put some cardboard in between it. One of the reasons it's going up and down is because it's making radioactive daughter products really rapidly and they're fading and that's uh, kind of changing the readings as it goes up and down and up and down. As you can see the cardboard isn't really doing very much. This emits alpha, beta, and gamma and we're probably actually blocking a lot of the alpha by the glass. So this is probably mostly beta and gamma we're picking up probably mostly beta at that because once I get uh, uh, in some residual alpha because once I get about a foot away I pick up nothing I mean like literally nothing and as you can see we haven't really dropped very much eh, it dropped a little I guess no oh, look at that actually we are dropping a little bit eh, I think it's level one off a little notice it was headed up pretty high up there for a second now it's level off and now look it's at 700 so the paper is actually blocking a little bit of the radiation not much. Nowhere near enough there to see it stabilizing. Now, let's pull this out. And we should get a substantial rise. I said we should get a substantial rise. Isn't that great science? I'm like yelling at it to do what I want it to do. That's science, right? No, that's crappy science, but whatever. Let's try to block it with some things. I have this shiny silver dollar. Okay. Silver dollar stops it pretty quickly. And if you notice, let me push the Geiger counter back a little bit. I actually got the Geiger counter a little bit closer when I first put the silver dollar in it. actually pushed it a bit closer. And this should be dropping a little bit here. It's still high. But nowhere near the uh, 7, 800 we saw a minute ago. Crap on the lens there. All right. Three. And yet we fall. Move that out of the way. Now, here's a really good piece to test. Let's see here. Let us turn the Geig uh, the actual device over. Put the Geiger counter up to it. So we got a good, 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 steady stream going through, right? And move this out of the way. 
if you can actually see it. Now, let's take this. I'm trying to like hold my hands here. Oops, dropped it. A shiny gold coin. This is 19, sorry, 1886. Uh, looks like a $5, $5 piece. Yeah, I got some random stuff in my Alright, now we'll put the gold piece right over top of the unit. It's doing a pretty good job of blocking that radiation. You, know, you can't see anything. I'm holding the camera bad, lip badly, poorly. But now if I move the gold piece out of the way, go back to the same location, significantly higher. Alright. Interesting, and I didn't even get to use my bar of silver. Look at all my toys. Well, it's a beautiful little compass. And its owner is probably very happy with it, even though it puts off a god-awful amount of radiation. And as you all know, anybody who knows me knows that I'm super-duper paranoid. And it should be updating any time now. There it goes. We're going back up again. Notice the scale on the side here is in the uh, 900 range. So it's pretty high up. Wow. Talk about awesome fun. Now, let me tell you one of the neat things about radium. Radium is, is both the most dangerous and the least dangerous. If you inhale it, if you were to grind up some of this uh, and, and inhale it or you were to swallow it or whatnot, it could be very, 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 very deadly. I mean, like, ridiculously, ludicrously deadly. When calculating the amount of energy it, it deposits into your body and the damage it does, you have to multiply the, the normal dose, the normal absorbed dose, by 20. So it's 20 times the damage if it hits the body. 20 times. But it's not powerful enough to make it through your skin. And so it's pretty safe. Like, as long as, long as it stays inside of this uh, compass and doesn't get out, it's pretty damn safe. It won't hurt me very much at all. I can sit here and play with it all day long. And neatest of all... that. Look at that. Now if you're curious what it would be like for the poor sucker that's actually holding this compass as they sit there and walk around doing their compass holding things. You can't see it here but maybe you can see it right here. Lapse time, 44 seconds, 45, 46, 47. Look at this counts going in. 300 counts, 320, 330. And four and 500 counts here are being shielded by the metal. Wow. That's a good amount of radiation. Anyway. By the way, I'd like to also point out that this is that the 0.6 millirems that uh, I've, I've seen people show before from the rain. If you were to switch this to millirems, even though it was actually some millirankins, even though it's inappropriate to use this because the energy isn't right, we still haven't quite hit 0.6, and I have a radium compass. There we go, 0.6. I had to use a radium compass to do that. Keep that in mind. It took radium compass that much radium, all, all of this here and this here, to cause that much. Think about that for a minute. Anyway, this has been Tom from anti-proton.com, and I hope you enjoyed it, because I know I did.